All right, good morning, everybody. Everybody's good? Good, let's just do a few breathings. Let's breathe up. Oh my God, let's go like wild, it's full moon. Not yet, uh, tonight, I think tomorrow? Tomorrow. It's it's getting big. Yeah, and it's not, it could be tomorrow or Monday, or that is Monday, Tuesday. I think you're right. I know, and it's so nice. It's great to sit outside at night in your lawn because the moon is right there. So inhale, come forward, exhale, drop back, inhale. Ah, 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 ah. Big breath, chest up, chin up, so you start expanding, massaging the lymphatics. Oh, wow, you're brave. Is that the sprays for bugs? <laughs> oh, that's scary. They don't like me. Bugs don't like me. Oh, I almost thought that was Clarence. Roll around with your chest a little bit, Barb. Three more. Arms overhead, thumbs together, look up. Exhale, inhale, inhale a little more. And hold the breath, swallow, contract the genitals, absorb the oxygen. Exhale, slide on down the heart line, pause at your breastplate. Soften your gaze and humbly invite yourself to cultivate an intimate relationship with your breath. Invite yourself to be your breath and breathe your breath and follow your breath to your yoga, the yog, that deep yoking and joining of body, mind, and spirit, that deep cosmic void within connect to the great cosmos surrounding us. Slide your hands down onto your knees and let's just spin around. Chest comes forward in front of the ankles and tailbone slides behind. I am. You can join us, you know. You should join us. He should. <laughs> well, he already knows how. Go the other direction. Downward dog. Hi, handsome. Says everybody's smiling because I call them handsome. <laughs> Good. Spin around. Massage the kidneys. Loosen up that lower back. And easy. Come into the center and shift your feet. Pull your little extra skin on your buns back behind you. Sit nice and tall, arms up and overhead three times. Inhale up and exhale once more up and exhale. Let's go off to the side. Take the right arm off to the right side. Remember the right hand is near your hip. Mirror me. Don't over intellectualize, darling. <laughs> so you just, ah. Elbow pulling out from the waist. Good, and keep the hand forward near the knee so you stretch out of your waist. Love handle, it's called. And then easy, back up into happy cactus. Ah, spin, spin, spin. Let your head go with you. And easy, let's go over that right knee. Bow down, elbows are high. Torque out your shoulders so that you're in a T over your thigh. And just pulse down softly. Let the weight of your body carry you down. I guess the weight. So you want to let your head go down towards your knee. And the elbows are on either side of the knee or the thigh. Elbows are up, Liz. No, like this. Like you're a spider. 
Ah. <laughs> and then easy. Mitchy march around. Hi, Robert. Mitchy march around. Shimmy and shake in the middle. Come on, Bob. Shimmy, baby. Give it a go. And then sweep your arms forward out, up and overhead. And humbly again, slide on down the heart line, inviting yourself to befriend yourself, to participate in your healing, inviting yourself to let the breath meander into every crevice and nook of your body, every wrinkle, every dark spot. Allow that buoyant breath Om Namah Shivaya, arms overhead three times. Three, hold the arms up easy, lift up and exhale off to the left side. Oh, that right elbow over your ear. So you spin, good. Oh, you love your mat, Lorenzo? <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Very handsome, good. Make sure you try and stretch and open up those side ribs. You can let that left elbow bend so you rebound down a little bit less, like boing, like the rubber band in your body. Keep that weight in your right sit bone. Uh-huh, good. And then easy, rebound up and happy cactus. Remember the elbows are off the side of the shoulders for those damn dingle dangles. Higher elbows, Barb. Let your head go with you. Spin, spin, spin. Are you spinning? And then easy. Inhale, exhale, bow down over your left knee. Use your fingertips to torque the shoulders so you make a nice T across the thigh. Good, let the head drop you down. Let that right shoulder pull forward a little bit, the left shoulder back, Andrew. Good, Marnie, it disappeared. Ah, good, Will. Surrender down your chest to your thigh. Surrender down. Do you feel it in your right hip, yes or no? Yeah. I know, it's a trick. <laughs> <laughs> so let that body relax allow that stretching to occur and then easy Mitchy march around and coming up into the center shimmy and shake and easy go ahead and let the hands be offside like equal off to your knees out in front of you. So your back is nice and straight at an angle. You inhale, pull the chest away from the pubic bone. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold down. And up and shh. How is it? Legs, you got it? <laughs> and easy inhale back up walk your hands back in shift your feet same thing again on the with this other leg notice for yourself which hip might be a little tighter so the arms are out chest starts off nice and straight shoulders are down inhale exhale bow down inhale and exhale <sighs> See if you can't get a little further towards the ground, Barb. <laughs> Good. Chest out in front of the ankles. Exhaling. Good job. Hi, Melissa. Oh, look at you've got wild dog with the hello for a ball. Two more. <laughs> One more. And easy, inhale back up. Hold the arms up and overhead. Take the arms back around behind you. Go ahead and fold in and grab, uh, twine your fingers. 
roll the shoulders, pull the shoulders away from the ears, the hands away from your bottom, lift your chest, Cali breath, inhale, exhale, tongue to the chin, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, tongue out, inhale, exhale, once more, exhale, inhale, head up, tongue in, happy face, hands off the ground, stretch that chest, you can move just a little bit, inhale, and exhale, bow down towards the ground, let the hands slide up towards the sky, you okay, Jerry? Squeeze those elbows together. Good. Robert, stretch those arms more. It's your nice hairdo. Good. Nice. Reach with your chin a little bit more, Will. Out. Easy. And then easy. Lower the hands. Rub your lower back. Hands come on the thighs. Roll and stack the vertebra. Inhale, arms out, up and overhead, gaze up. Humbly slide down the heart line, pausing at your breastplate. Stack your bones, slide your ears back. The back of your head stretches back and the ears are over your shoulders. Your chest is broad and radiant. Breathe in, breathe out. Notice how the body responds to the stimulation, responds to the energizing. Slide the hands down, easy. Let's fold the knees in. Rub the knees, uncross the ankles, rub your knees. While you're sitting here, Go ahead and pull up on your calves and on your shins and pull the outer thighs. You can rub with your knuckles. Yep, you can always find the Yelp area. Come underneath the thighs. That's good, drum circle. And then squeeze. Use your thumbs because everyone's cramping because it's summer. Go ahead and use your thumbs and just make yourself yelp all the way down your calves. Yes or no? You don't have it doesn't bother your calves? Wow, Lorenzo, it must be the mat. <laughs> now that he's gotten all ass fancy. <laughs> I feel it. Yelp, 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 yelp. And then stretch your legs out easy and bounce your knees. Almost. Okay, Parkers, take a little drink of water. Parkers, that's your new name. Happy face, Will. <laughs> Arms up and overhead. Exhale down. Breathe up. Exhale down. Breathe up. Exhale down. Breathe up. Hold it up. Separate the arms. Exhale. Lift and dive way out towards your toes. Wiggle around wherever you land. Squeeze your toes so you get some circulation down into the feet. Lymphatics are down in the feet. Blood flow. And easy hands are going to slide back towards your calves, elbows. Point the toes, activate the midline, chest out over the thighs. Point your toes, Robert. That's pretty. Point more. And then push your heels, toes towards your nose. I can't see your toes, Andrew. I can only see the fireplace and the lamp. <laughs> toes towards your nose, chest is forward. Same with Marnie. Marnie and Andrew have the same vision. Point the toes. Are your legs straight, legs? Oh, they are nice and strong. 
inside meridian squeezes together, inner knees, calves, ankle bones, big toes, chest is up, out, and over. Wow, cool breeze. Beautiful. Push the heels. Oh. And easy. Let's just go ahead and stack the vertebra. Slide the arms. Inhale, lift up. If you need to bend your knees, you can. Exhale out. Ah. Roll it on up. Exhale. Ah. Really inhale that breeze in. Sweep up. Where'd that come from? Yay. And again, one more lift up and exhale, bow down. And walk your hands back on in. Today, I want to do something that's um, scary for you, right? So you're going to take your left leg and fold it back. You're going to lean off to the side and you're going to left leg. <laughs> Grab left leg, your left leg. My left leg. Uh huh. It's yeah. my dyslexic leg. I know that. Grab your calf. Okay. Really like grab it and roll that entire calf muscle outwards. So it rolls on. You be careful with this side. Rolls on to the outside of the bone. Can you fold that knee back, Robert? Maybe use your pillow. The top of your, can you slide your knees together, legs? That's good. And roll the calf out. And then make sure the heel is outside of your bum. Be careful with that knee. Are you good, Barb? Okay, see if you can fold that foot back towards your bottom. I mean, if you want to look at jelly bean, you can look at um, cooked noodle back there. Johnny's all in the mood. Take your hands, pull the elbows together, scoot your bottom forward so the fat on your ass scoots forward so that when you sit down, you don't have any, I know, don't worry. Then you sit down on your bum, yes or no? You guys okay, Melissa? Okay, we'll stay there with it. Okay, hi. Good, easy. Walk your hands back a little further. Lift the hips up and lower down. You feel the stretch, yes or no? Up and lower down. Oh, good. Oh, you're very good. Up and lower down. Tuck that foot next to your body, good. Oh, you like this. Wow. Lift it up. Are you okay? Good. And then easy. Walk your hands back in. Arms up and overhead. And then see if you can stretch forward and grab the ankle or the calf. Or the toes if you want to be really flexy. Good. Are you frowning legs? Will you okay? Walk your hands out a little more, Melissa, towards your ankle. <laughs> Breathe, Andrew, you all right? And then go ahead. Well, I hear very good breathing. It's close to moaning, right? Walk your hands back in. <laughs> right hand goes off. Going to grab that leg, pull it, and open it out. Keep this leg straight. You can pull. The thumbs can go to the crease. You can open up the thigh and the calf muscle. It's amazing how that stuff slides around on the bones, right? The stuff. Arms come up and overhead. Leg is straight. And exhale out. Good. Try and soften towards the thigh. Let your back relax. Square off your shoulders a little bit, legs. Stretch forward with that right hand, Robert. You're good. Fold the other leg in. No, fold it forward this time. Fold the foot forward to your inner thigh. 
Take your left leg and pull that leg forward. Yes, keep pulling it. And then open the knee out and put your sole of your foot against your right thigh. Good, breathe. Yes, exactly. Good, and then easy, slide your fingertips back towards your knee. Right hand goes out, down onto the calf or onto the shin bone. Left arm stretches forward, gaze follows, open up. Now I take my right hand on the inside of my shin so I can use it like a lever or a lever to pop my chest forward and open. If you're flexy and you want to grab the toe, you can. If you want to grab with your right hand the toe, and you can drop that elbow inside. Good, turn your arm this way. Grab it. Good, elbow. And then stretch that left arm over your ear. And breathe now. Grunting is okay. Stretch that arm pointing towards the toes. Good. Arm up to the sky, Will, would work. Good, that's it, Marnie. Stretch. Roll the chest, squeeze the wing bones, legs. And then easy, inhale, lift on up, gaze at your right hand, sweep up and just rise up onto the back arm, curl the body, straight arms, straight legs. And down you come, beautiful and yay. <laughs> Pull this leg in, fold the left leg in, rub your knees, stretch your legs out. And usually it's kind of an emergency because one leg's longer than the other. I know, it's so goofy. I mean, you can always fix it by up here, but it's just part of the game. So now we're gonna roll off to the left side. You're gonna take that leg Fold it in, the top of the foot goes on the ground. The hand, that's good, Bob. Keep going, put the, toe, put the top of your foot on the ground. Toes point to the back of your mat. Help her fold that. And then grab your calf, grab the calf muscle and slide it out. Slide it out. Can you pull that knee in? Your right knee in, Lorenzo? Not on that side? This one's weird too. I thought that was the weird one. It is. This is nature weird. This is mine weird. Huh. Ah, so you have a whole orchestra. Yeah. <laughs> well, you could put your shoe under your left butt. Uh-huh. Or two shoes. Well. The left. There. Much better. Put the shoe under the left one. Take your heel out from your rump. Yeah, because that right butt bone should be sinking down to the earth. How is your lower body, Will? Jerry, you're good? That's it, be careful, that's the magical knee. Mr. Trussell, be careful. Andrew, are you sleeping? <laughs> you just had that look. Easy, hands go back. Don't break anything, Barb. Once we're all a certain age, you have to be careful. Lean back, scoot that tailbone forward so you feel the stretch on the top of the bent knee. You can even lean back a little more. If you want to do the full Gumby, you can lay down on the ground. Go. Not on this side. Not on that. My God, what is it with the sides? Every, 
your bossy side is <laughs> stretching. How are you doing? Keep the knees together. Keep the knees squeezed together. That's good. That's for safety. How are you doing? Good. So if you lift your buns up, you can feel it even more, right? I mean, correct? That's good. Keep the knees together. That's good. Then bend your elbows, legs, and lay down on your back. Keep your knees together. There it is. There it is. There it is. Careful. <laughs> like he just fell off the diving board. All right. Up we come. Keep the knees together. You can pull a little bit back in your bum. Arms up and overhead. Good job. Ah, exhale out towards the front straight legs. Leg, I guess there's only one. You got it? You good? Breathing, relax the shoulders, reach with the chest out towards the thigh. Marnie, are you there? Okay. Will, lift your chin a little bit. That's good. Just look at that, your calf. Both hands. Can you grab your ankle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then walk on back. Good job. Ah, hand comes down, grabs that knee, that leg, rolls it open, rub the knee. Everybody rub your knee. Say, I love you, knee. Darn things get all messed up. And then stretch the leg out, bounce the legs. Pull the buns, let's inhale, lift up, wiggle the toes, bow down. See if you're not a little further towards your foot, your feet, yes or no? Good, yes, good. Robert, a little bit. That's good. Ah. And slide back, pull this right leg in and open it out. Stretch up, bow down. Bolo, bolo, there you go. And walk on back, easy. Arms come up and down once more. And one more time after that. And pull this leg in, stretch them out, bounce, easy. Let's roll over into child's pose. Oh, there it is, Johnny. He's here. The red bird. Yay, there, see him? He's up in the branch of this tree right here. There's the sunlight on his, on his little head. We, sit. we have kept eyes on these guys for now third summer. We've been here since 20, summer of 20. And we've seen them have babies. Oh, I know. Hello, we miss you. I know it's hot. They're a red, red chested, what? Yeah, that's right. We need more of them, but I know. Hi, darling, where's your girlfriend? Good, so big toes are touching. Bodies laid down. Take a nice deep breath and just settle into this position of surrender. With the full moon, we have the larger flow of the fluids in the body. So big toes touch, you keep the electrical organized. 
you allow the disc to plump up, get a little more spacious through your spine, relax your body down there. If you wish to fold the hands together behind your head in prayer pose, you're welcome. Send out a little energy to the sweet planet and the inhabitants. Remember that this relaxing of the inner thighs of the lower gut of the chest and the armpits allows space. It allows that cerebral spinal fluid, your chi, your kundalini, your life force to flow up your spine towards the pineal gland in the middle of your brain. This default position where surrender is your focus. So say a little prayer and then easy undo your hands out so they stretch out in front of you with the fingers digging into the grass. Your palms are up, your wrists are up, your elbows are up and you can shimmy and shake your bosoms. And then you flatten the hands and come up onto all fours. So come up onto all fours, spread your fingers and easy, you can spin your knees or um, spin your buns around your knees. Kind of writhing and making yourself agile and stretchy and dancey. And then come back into the center and slide the chest forward. Look up at the sky, exhale the tongue. <sighs> Flip your tailbone to the ground, flatten the belly, look through the thighs, press your arms strong on the earth, your hands. Flip and lift up, slide forward. Oh, stretch that belly, shoulders back. That's good. And exhale and round. Articulate the tailbone so the entire pelvic bowl flips towards the ground. Lengthen the back. Now flip the tail up, drop the belly, slide the chest forward. Look up and look at your elbows. Everybody has weird elbows. So the elbow creases want to face each other. You have to work hard for it so that you roll the elbow creases to face each other and then squeeze like you were hugging and slide the shoulders away from your ears. So you engage your belly, actually. Curl your toes, sit back on your heels, Look at your arms nice and long, the spread of your fingers, your thumb and forefinger are organized with your earlobe and the top of your shoulder. And easy, you're gonna just lift into a small crouching down dog. Let your head dangle in between your upper arms. Let your chest press against your thigh, thighs up, and then lift the tailbone and pedal your feet, pedal each opposite heel dropping towards the earth, ears between the upper arms, pulsing your chest a little more, Jerry, towards your thighs. Good, try and get the armpits to press towards the ground. Good, stretch that chest much better. And then lift both heels and drop the heels so you're in a downward facing dog. Check your elbows, straighten the legs, use your whole mat. A lot of you are tall, so you wanna use the entire mat so you have a nice length in your spine. Press that chest a little more legs, the armpits towards your thighs. Good, now squeeze the bottom and inhale into plank. Hinge your chest over your thumbs, squeeze the bottom, breathe in, breathe out. Don't be uh, frantic, 
No frowning. Breathe in, breathe out. You have to bear your own weight. Inhale, exhale into down dog. Ah, breathe. Strong arms. Push the earth away. Squeeze the elbows together. Drive the shoulders from the ears. Inhale once more into plank. Breathe in, breathe out. Stomach is nice and flat. Happy face. Oh, I'm so strong. One foot up, one foot up, one hand up, one hand up. Knees down. Just quickly, darling. Knees down, chest down. Slide your legs back. Slide the arms forward. Really, you're coming back? You were here a while ago. Easy into Sphinx. <laughs> Easy, shoulders are down. So the elbows pull back so the chest slides forward. The legs are long and the little toes are on the ground. Look up. <laughs> All right, look over your shoulder and see if you can see your heel. No low rider up and high, like, and then over the other shoulder. And then back into the center. Easy, lower the bosoms down, stretch the arms back behind you, squeeze the legs together and breathe. Squeeze the wing bones together. Good job. That's good, Barb, breathe. Breathing. I can only see head. Breathe in, breathe out. And easy, hands down. Let the hands come in front of you, your arms, and turn your cheek to the side. Let your elbows open up and rest your head on your forearms. Let yourself balance. Calm down a little. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Heels have dropped open. Body is relaxed. <laughs> the dogs love this one. <laughs> and then easy. Change the crossing of your arms and turn your head the other way. Turn the other cheek, as it were, and just rest. Rest for a moment. Relax yourself. I like that. <laughs> Breathe in, breathe out. Soft and easy. Noticing that rebalancing, that natural rebalancing of the body. Oh, it's windy up there. And then easy, come back into the center. Bring the hands underneath your shoulders. Elbows are up and in. If you're willing, you can curl your toes under. Make yourself nice and strong. Try and inhale. Exhale strong up into plank. Good job. Exhale into down dog. Let your right leg lift up to the sky and over your body. And easy, bring it back down. Inhale into plank. Exhale. <laughs> and let that left leg go up to the sky roll bend the knee and let it open up the thigh so you're getting ready to flip the dog good job a little higher Barb and then bring it on back down to parallel inhale into plank exhale into down dog Three breaths, down dog. Be strong, be heavy. Organize the body wide. Let the heels be heavy. One more breath. And then easy, let the knees bend softly. Down onto all fours. Good, grab the left leg. 
and haul it to the front of your mat. Good, some of you might need water apparently. Don't let that thing blow away, legs. That thing over there is blowing around that tent or whatever it is, the boat. What is that thing? Yeah, it's the it's the little roof on the top of a, of our one of our boats. One of our boats. Listen to you. Hello. Oh. It's the roof on one of our boats. Like this, the world's smallest violin. Oh, hi, Maverick. Hi, Maverick. I see your face. Knee over the front foot. Curl the back toe, lift the back leg up. Hi, Bob, lift your head. Good, lift the back knee up. Ah, oh, runner's lunge. Push that heel, straighten that leg. Drop the groin. Breathe in, breathe out. And then easy, lower the knee down. Good, easy. You can take that right hand and move it out a little bit and let the left arm float up to the sky. That's good. And lower down. And easy. Bring your hands in line with the front toes. Back knee is down. And let's just hinge towards the back heel, looking at the front toes. And lunge back and look up. Smiling, ah, and hinge back. You might want to take a longer, dis a, f a bigger distance between the front heel and the knee. Drag your foot forward more or your knee back, yeah. So you have a lot more mobility or range of motion to lunge. Let that back thigh. Flip your toes when you go, Elizabeth. So you want to kiss your toes. You feel it, yes or no? Uh, Anybody else feel it? Yes. Hinging forward. Sitting back. Oh. Hinging forward. Sitting back. Oh, it's so good when you sit back. Oh, it's just so good. It's like, yes. My God. And hinge forward. And hang out there. Hold on to the front knee. Forward. <laughs> Hold on to your front knee. Good. Drop your. Oh, good. Good. We stretch up. Good job. Keep bending that front knee, Barb. Lift up. Look up. <sighs> Slide on down. Push the knee in and take the upper right arm to the outside of the thigh. Press the palms together, pray for mercy. Top elbow is high, pull your stomach in and try and lift up that back knee. <laughs> Tomorrow, oh good. In the studio, wiggle around a little bit, lower the knee, drop the hands. Good job, sit back once more, hang out back there. Now we used to do these things called reindeer hops. Come forward. So you put your hands here, you lift your knees and you go boom, boom, boom. But it's probably too hot to do that. <laughs> Did you have, oh, that's good. No, just one move. Boom. You got it. Go for it. Do it. Yeah. Yes. And again. Yes. Oh my God, track and field. <laughs> Lift up the back knee. <laughs> Elizabeth is getting all fired up. <laughs> Breathe easy. Careful, Jerry. All right, legs, you can do about 100 of them. Curl the back toe, lots of distance. Drop that back thigh. Hands are by the front toes, Barb. 
That's good. Lift the back knee. Oh, and just let the, see if you can hold and manage the weight through your underbelly, through your under thigh. Thunder thigh, under thigh. <laughs> that'll go, that'll go. Stomach in, tighten your hooky. Good, breathe. Catch yourself. Easy, lower the knee down, easy. And let's go back and forth. Sit back easy, pull the toe in, lunge forward. Careful, how is it, Jerry? Be careful, okay. Make sure you keep it in a good alignment. I think spread your uh, leg out a little further, legs. Take your right foot forward more. Yeah, and then lunge. And look up, look up, look up when you come forward. <laughs> and exhale back. Good, easy. Let's end up forward in the lunge. Take the right hand out to the side. Let the left arm float up to the sky. Ah. Oh, yes. And lower down, easy. Let that back knee be on the ground. Easy. If you want to curl the back toes under, you can. Hold on to the front thigh. Where are you going, Will? Thighs down, shoulders down, right shoulder. Ah! Chest is pulled away. Mm -hmm. Left arm up. Good job, good job. Now organize yourself. Plant and root your front foot. Sink into the front thigh and lift in your pelvic bowl. Suck it up. Gaze up. Oh, hi, Johnny. And easy, slide on down. Push that knee across your center line and take your upper torso and spin it to the outside of the thigh. Then put your back knee down first and then, oh, there you go, you're fine. Nice, top elbow high, Lorenzo. That's good. And try and slide your hands towards your heart. You can lift up the back knee. Go for it. Go for it, baby. Yes, 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 yes. Back knee up and down and easy. Back into the center. Whoosh, breathe. Hi, Andrew. Bye, Andrew. Lunge in, sit back. Lunge in. <clears throat> Where's your knee, Will? You're lunging. Good, get that foot closer to the front of the mat. Good, lift your chest, Jerry. Good, lift your head, Marnie, when you come forward in your chest. So you feel it up in the inside of your legs, yes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then when you straighten this leg, stay there a little bit and wiggle your back bottom. Well, that doesn't make sense. But <laughs> wiggle your right hips, your buns, your derriere. Ah, because there's something that happens. You can identify exactly the structure. You can feel the muscle. You can feel the tendon. You can feel that ball and socket joint. Get very organized. And then easy, lunge back forward, lift up, look up. Lift the back knee up. And if you want to do a couple of reindeer things, you can. Reindeer. Reindeer hopping. Nobody wants to reindeer hop. And easy. Put both knees down. I guess not. Cross your ankles. Sit back. Take some water. They're really good cardio.
You okay? One of our boats. So that begs the question, legs, how many do you have? Five, four, three. That's good, body, mind, spirit. Gives you a chance to make each one important. Open your legs up. Grab the inside knees. Open your legs a little further, Melissa. <laughs> Pull it inside of the knees. Wiggle your toes. Pull the buns back behind you. Easy. Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale. Breathe up. Breathe down. Breathe up. Breathe down. Uh-oh, come right to your belly. We forgot to... Stimulate the lymphatics. Get ready for watermelon. <laughs> I'm excited to try that soup. I got all the stuff yesterday. I shopped. And across your chest, get that upper thyroid, that machine of the body, the well being, these meridians that flow. Looking for the red guy. <sighs> and easy, soft and liquid ways. And then easy, take your left elbow and lift it up and let that left palm crawl down your middle back. Lift your chest, push your legs strong, toes to the sky, flex, that's it. And release easy. Hands on your thighs, breathe in, breathe out. Come grab this right elbow. And lift it up and let that hand fall down to the middle neck. You can always poke around on your neck. Okay, rub easy, move a little bit, keep the legs nice and straight, sitting up nice and tall, breath is full. And easy, release. Let your hands just sit on your thighs and roll your shoulders. Shake your head out a little bit. <sighs> Smooth brow. Yay. Hands back behind you. Just lift your hips up, point your toes, flex your feet, point your toes, flex the feet, change the rhythm so you really point and flex. Good. And then lower on down and let this easy walk forward. Bring the hands and walk. Good job. <laughs> Crawl forward a little bit. Move a little bit side to side. Open your legs, Robert, out wide. Oh, honey, I'm home. <laughs> How you doing, Barb? It's okay, do you drink some water? Wiggle your toes. Keep that energy with the toes. Walk the hands back on in. 
Hold the shin, sit up nice and tall. So you notice for yourself that you feel organized in your body so that you visualize that skeletal structure. You tuck your chin and the back of your head back. And then you notice that your earlobes are right on top of your shoulders. Your chest is up and a little extra broad. You're breathing. There's a spaciousness at your waist, the separated ribs. And easy, let's just slide the hands, turn that right shoulder and the right ear towards the ground. And press on the legs and come back up. And turn the left ear and the left shoulder and try and land right in the middle of your body. Aim out right to the center. And then slide back up so that you take elbows leaps. You take the shoulders and that left shoulder wants to go right into the midline. Yeah. More, 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 more midline, more. That's it. You feel the difference? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. And then slide back up. So working with the midline. Take this left shoulder. Right to the midline. Right to the midline. That means the arm will slide out. And you look away from it. Get the shoulder down to the ground. Yes or no? <laughs> You can use the inside of your leg as a little lever, lever, don't lever. Come back up. Are you going into the center legs? Take the shoulder, turn, and try and drop it right here in the middle. No, don't let that hand go. It's called open second. <laughs> You're working on the splits. <laughs> they're all giggling here in the park and let the breath lift you back up hi Will once more left side left shoulder turn aim for the ground and then roll back up last time right shoulder lift up first Lorenzo Lift up and then use this hand like a lever, like a lever, like uh, uh, that's it. And then down into the middle, down into the middle. Oh, legs, and then lift back up. Rock a little bit. Hands back behind you, lift up. Lower on down. Easy, pull the legs together. Good job. Roll down onto your backs. Tuck your knees into your chest. Tuck the knees into your chest. You can... <clears throat> get organized so that you have something underneath your head, maybe your shoes or your blanket or something to give you a little support under your neck, under your head. Tuck the knees in and roll the knees around. That's good. Roll the knees around. A little wider, Will. And then reverse the circle. That's good, Marnie. Good. Reverse the circle. That's good, Trussell. Get that left leg organized with the right leg. Then easy. Let's try happy cactus. Hold the outside of the feet. The little toe line and get your kneecaps into your armpits. Let that sweet breeze cool you down a little. 
Just calm yourself down, easy. Rock a little side to side. Massage the lower back. Back into the center. Hands on the inside of the thighs and stretch the legs open into Honey, I'm Home. Or you can put the hands on the calves and roll your feet around, tracing the face of the analog clock. And then easy, press the legs together from the outside of the calves, straight up to the sky. And if I were you, I would bend the knees Drop your feet. Oh, good for the lungs. Lift the hips up and slip your arms underneath your bottom. Make little fists. Get your biceps underneath your upper chest. Stretch the legs up to the sky. The toes come to your nose. The legs are straight. The inner meridian line, again, is connected. Try and make a, a nice L shape. Most of you need to press the legs three inches away from your chest, more towards the front of the room. Breathing in and breathing out, allowing legs up, Robert. Use the bed if you want. Toes are towards your nose, soles of the feet are to the heavens. Allow the nervous system to reboot. Feed your complexion, straight legs, feed your digestion. Change the movement of the valves in your body. Allow your heart to relax. Don't give up. They should tremble. They should be trembling. Toes towards the nose. Legs squeezed together. Stay 10 more seconds. Allowing that energy, the valves in your carotid, the valves in your heart, the valves in your groin, the valves in your legs, that main arterial circulation gets a break. Refresh yourself. Breathe the oxygen in. Three more breaths, nice and big. Good job. Excellent. And then easy, bend the knees into the chest. Drop the feet onto the ground, lift the hips up and remove your arms and hands from underneath and bounce your hips down on the ground. Bounce the pelvis, bounce the sacrum down on the ground. It's down, not up, down, 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 boom, boom, boom. Any calcification, any stagnation, just let it, adios. Excellent. Feet are near your bottom. The knees are bent. There's about three to six inches between your knees. Arms are by your side. You're going to slowly lift the hips up, press the knees forward, stretch your arms up and overhead onto the grass. Hips are up, arms on the grass. Keep the arms up there. Lift the hips, flatten the thighs again. Releasing that energy, getting your pelvis above your heart. And now slowly articulating your spine, starting up at your neck, lower the vertebra down one by one until that lower gut and that lower back. Close your ribs there, legs. And exhale, bring the hands back to your heels. Give it a go again. Lift the hips up. Arms float overhead, they stay overhead. You press strongly on your feet. You lengthen your thighs. You stimulate your thyroid, you breathe in, you breathe out, and then slowly lower the spine down. Vertebra by vertebra. When the tailbone gets down there, you can let the arms float over towards the heels. Good, don't rush it. Once more, inhale, lift up. And 
and articulate strong, open, feel empty through your torso. Yes or no? Yes? Breakfast. And roll down slowly. And bounce your hips down on the ground. After the hands, bring back, bounce the hips down. Hug the knees into the chest. Good, just realign the sacrum and the spine. Drop the feet on the ground. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Inhale your arms overhead and exhale, thread the needle. That means the right hand's gonna go through the thigh. The left hand's gonna go on the outside of the thigh, the left thigh and tuck it into your chest. Both knees come into the chest, good. Drop the shoulders, engage that left foot so it's flexed, good. Breathe in and breathe out. And then go ahead and stretch that left leg up to the sky. Good. Ah, breathe in, breathe out. Jab your right elbow in your right thigh and press it away from you so you make a gap. That's it, exactly. Excellent. Breathe in, breathe out. And then let's go ahead and lower that left foot down to the ground. Let the foot go down to the ground. Keep the right foot crossed. Let your arms go out in a T. It's gonna lift your hips up. Lift the hips up. Let the right knee get heavy. And then you have to think about it. You're gonna swing your hips to the right. Drop them down and put both knees left. Both knees left. You're there, go left with both knees, no left. Exactly, and the left arm can join you if you wish. You can scoot onto that. Let that knee go all the way down, Lorenzo. Good, let your left arm join the right arm if you wish. So you can get your knees down, you can stack your shoulders, you can get up on that left hip and then that right hand can slide to your lower back you can massage yourself right hand you know dyslexia always start, strikes here roll roll more ah like a little kid yep. then this hand holds the knees down and this hand can come around and dig around on your lower back or sweep across your eyes, shade your eyes, back here. Mon Dieu. Mon Dieu. And ah, yes, that's it. Good, let me scoot this back a little more. <laughs> Go scoot back and then down. Ah. Yes, and this hand can go, oh, mon Dieu. <laughs> My skin's so beautiful. Jeez, Louise never had a sunburn. <laughs> nope. Easy breathing. Oh, let me step on your new mat. <laughs> ah, oh, yeah. There it is. You want to get up on that hip, hip pad. Yeah. Them. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hello, X-rated film soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> Cost extra. Good. Oh, Bob, your mon dieu is perfect. I don't know which way to go. This is this the way? This what do you do with your... This hand goes on your forehead and look to the fence. This way. There you are. Breathe now. <laughs> good job. Can I scoot you back? Let's go. One, two, three. Back. Oh. So yeah. this goes there. Oh, okay. So then you're on that little. <laughs> well, you, it, it doesn't poke so much. And so then you get this spiral. Oh, yeah. oh, that feels bad. <laughs> okay. 
It's a nice necklace. Has Johnny seen that? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so nice. You'll have to see her necklace. Now, easy before you freeze up. Ha, ha, ha. Roll back onto your backs. Unhook your legs. And bounce your hips down on the ground. Unwind yourself. Bounce the hips. Good. Bounce the hips. Good. And then easy, hug your knees into the chest. Ah. And easy, go ahead and drop your feet onto the ground. Cross the left leg over the right. Arms overhead, inhale. Exhale, thread the needle. That means the left hand goes through the window and the right hand on the outside of the thigh. Tuck in. Good, and jab that elbow inside. Hold that thigh there, Jerry. Good, jab that elbow inside to give you a little more angst. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. Get heavy in the right hip. You can go ahead and Straighten that right leg up to the sky. Ah, straighten the right leg up to the sky. Sole the foot up there. Drop the shoulders. Jab the left elbow inside the thigh and press it away from you to create some space in your little gut. Breathe in, breathe out. Good job. Oh, nice, JJ. And then easy, go ahead and bend that right foot down onto the ground with the knee bend. Arms in a T by your side, I mean, in a T. Lift the hip up, hips, both hips up high. Let that left knee get heavy. Keep your heel down so that you get that right leg nice and straight, the right thigh. Get your pelvis higher. And then you have to remember what to do. You swing to the left, you drop your buns, and you roll to the right. Both knees, both arms. Get all the way over there. Goodness, it's a freeway over here. Tuck the knees high above to your waist. Make sure you're on the hip pad and let that left hand sweep across your eyes, looking away from the knees. Mon Dieu, the left arm can sweep. Barbara, roll to your right. Yeah, come off your right hand. That a girl, more. Good, let the knees get all the way down to the ground. Scoot back on that lower hip pad so that you're comfortable and that you adjust that entire sacrum. And then you let the weight of your shoulders torque or wring out your waist. Beautiful, you can always let that left hand massage your lower back or poke around in your hip area where it's uncomfortable. Breathing, patting, rolling that left arm around in the shoulder. If you have shoulder issues, you can roll that arm around. Ah. feeling yourself pleasantly aligned with the gravitational pool, with the Mother Earth, supported by the Earth, spacious and gracious with your buoyant breath, smooth across your brow, comfortable, easy, 
On the next exhale, flatten the belly against the backbone. Roll back onto your back. Undo your legs, bounce your hips down. Bounce the hips. Boom, 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 boom. And easy. Tuck your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. Flip that tailbone up. Let the arms go out in a T and just roll the knees side to side. Support yourself as you just roll the knees side to side. Arms are in a T. Let the knees go all the way down to the ground. All the way down to the ground. Arms in a T. That a girl. And easy. Come back into the center. Wrap your arms around your knees. Hug in. Drop the feet on the ground. Slide your legs out nice and long. Easy. Arms are by your side. You're going to inhale and lift your head, chest, arms, and legs a few inches off the ground. Inhale and squeeze everything. Squeeze legs, arms, squeeze legs, legs as well. Hello, good evening. Sip in a little more breath. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And release easy. Relax, let your palms roll to the sky or easy, come onto your belly. Make sure there's some space between your legs and that your toes flop open. If you have glasses, you can put them on your waist or cover your eyes with your hat or your rag. Take a nice deep breath and on the exhale, it's called an ah. Ah, and just settle in for a few moments. Unfurrow the brow, smooth your face, let your lips be plump. Let your toes flop open, your thighs relax, your belly be soft. Scan your body. Notice how sweetly and how easily you rest with the earth. How vulnerable and open the top side of your body is. How vulnerable, how willing you are to let your viscera be exposed. Imagine your body is hollow. Soles of the feet, pelvic bowl, palms of your hands, inner ears, crown of your head. Feel cared for, feel like a conduit for that energy of the divine. Feel yourself full and plump healthy, happy, holy, feel yourself abundant, creating that space for grace. With the sweetness of your relationship with the divine, be through your crown, be through your heart. Skin is permeable and breathable. That sweet honey-like nectar of the gods, the amaranth, soothes and smooths and heals you. Let yourself 
become like the sweetness of the honey from the honeybees. Let the warmth and the humidity and the sensation of ease allow you to be sweet and kind. Let your dreams be full. Let yourself participate in your healing. Be willing to receive. Breathe in and breathe out. Let the breath draw you back into your temple. Let the navel point move with the fullness and buoyancy of your breath. Let that breath spread out into your fingertips and into your toes, falling on the ground. Breathe in to your fingertips and let your thumbs slide across your fingertips. Softly reconnecting, re-inhabiting your vessel. To nervous system involved, the thumbs slide across the fingertips. And take a nice deep breath and exhale, bring your hands to your heart. And you gather in all that love, that light, that joy the wisdom, the willingness, the wonder. And then easy, lace the fingers, twine the fingers, roll the arms up and overhead. Palms face away from your crown. Hare Krishna, hail to the divine within. Squeeze the legs together. Point your toes, push your heels, wiggle your nose and Flutter your eyelashes and move your mouth and inhale, exhale, tuck the knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug. And on your next exhale, roll off to your left side. Go for the way of the moon. Easy. When you're ready, press yourself up to a seated position that's comfortable for you. Feel all those little Debbies, all those angels, all those sparkling lightning bugs around you. Acknowledge your earth boundedness, your seatedness, and your rootedness. From the wings out through the fingertips, inhale, gather in, look at gazing upwards. Thumbs and baby fingers together, burst open those petals of the lotus blossom to create your chalice, your cup. Slide on down your heart line. The thumbs nestle at the breastplate. Exhale, bow your brow towards your heart. The fingertips cup together gently and the palms are folded around a precious flower blossom. That sweetness, that essence of you. And in this ancient and sacred greeting, we thank ourselves for being present and a part of we open and greet and welcome and honor and bow to that incandescent dancing great spirit that lives within ourselves and others. And we know the sameness of our breath, the sameness of our blood, 
we thank ourselves, we thank each other, we ingratiate ourselves to the wisdom and the power of the divine. Have yourselves a wonderful Sunday. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you all. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you. Love you. Say hello. Yay, North Dakota. Take care of each other everywhere. Get on all three boats at once, legs. <laughs> so easy. You can wave goodbye to everybody.